Now we're going to insert rhythm into note flight. This is a fairly easy process, but we need to make sure that we know the keys of the keyboard. Highlighted on this keyboard are the left and right square bracket keys, just here. The left square bracket key, this one, makes a note shorter. The right square bracket key, this one, makes a note longer. These keys appear next to or above the enter or return buttons on your keyboard. So to enter, I need to first work out what I'm going to do. So I go across to my assignment sheet and I can see number one has a TT, a Tekka Tekka, a TT and a Tekka Tekka. TT, Tekka Tekka, TT, Tekka Tekka. There's the first bar. Let's insert this into note flight. So I click into the first bar and I insert a note by pressing B on the keyboard. And there it is there. You can see the note head is red and that means that it's ready to be edited. Any note that is red can be edited. I press my left square bracket key to make it shorter. And now it's turned into a T. I press a B and now it's a TT and it's automatically joined up. So I have my first beat. My next one is Tekka Tekka. I press the letter B to enter the note, but you can see it comes up with one flag. That's a TT. So I press my left square bracket to make it smaller. Now it has two flags and I insert the rest of the notes by pressing B. So I now have TT Tekka Tekka. I need another TT now, so I press B. That's not a T, it's a Tekka Tekka, so I make it bigger by pressing the right square bracket. Now it's a TT, and I press B, and they'll automatically join together. And a Tekka Tekka again, press B, make it smaller with the right left square bracket, and press B three more times, and that gives me my first bar. If I press P at any time, it will play it back to me. So I can listen to whatever I've got. That's how we begin to enter notes. We press the letter B to insert the note and we press the left or right square bracket to make the note longer or shorter. <laughs>Now that I've finished inserting all my notes, I can press P to play back. This gives me the opportunity to play the rhythm back and to sing it. If I need to slow it down, I just click here where it says 120 and up here next to tempo, I can slow that right down to a good speed, maybe a hundred. Okay, make sure it doesn't appear like this. If it does, highlight it and press delete. So that hundred is at the beginning and it goes all the way through. My last thing I need to do is it will always insert a spare bar at the end. If I click in that spare bar and I go up to where it says measure in the ribbon and press minus, that spare bar will go. If per chance you click on the orange word measure and it disappears or your ribbon doesn't have measure at all, you go over to the hamburger and you slide down and you tick measure and then measure will appear back up here again in the ribbon. Remember, always click save to finish off.